John Atkinson Grimshaw, born in 1836, was an English Victorian era artist known for his captivating nocturnal scenes of urban landscapes. He was praised as a remarkable and imaginative painter by art critic Christopher Wood in Victorian painting. Grimshaw's passion for realism was influenced by his love for photography, which played a significant role in his creative process. Despite being self-taught, he utilized a camera obscura or lenses to project scenes onto canvas, compensating for his limited drawing skills and imperfect knowledge of perspective. This technique, also possibly used by Caravaggio and Vermeer, faced criticism from some of his contemporaries who believed it displayed less skill compared to traditional painting methods. However, many acknowledged his mastery of color, lighting, and shadow, as well as his ability to evoke strong emotional responses in viewers. Even James McNeil Whistler, with whom Grimshaw worked in his Chelsea studios, admitted, I considered myself the inventor of nocturnes until I saw Grimmie's moonlit pictures. In the early stages of his career, Grimshaw signed his paintings as Jag, J. Grimshaw, or John Atkinson Grimshaw, before finally adopting the name Atkinson Grimshaw. Joseph Marie Veen, a renowned French painter, was born on June 18, 1716, in Montpellier, France. He displayed an early talent for art and began his artistic journey at a young age. Veen was supported by Comte de Calis and received formal art training in the studio of Nato Iyer. In 1745, he achieved a significant milestone by winning the Grand Prix. During his time in Rome, Veen immersed himself in the study of nature and honed his artistic skills. The magnificent works of art surrounding him served as a constant source of inspiration. However, upon his return to Paris, Veen's unique style diverged from the prevailing artistic trends of the time. As a result, he faced challenges in gaining acceptance into the academy. It was only due to François Boucher's anger towards Veen's painting, Deadless and Icarus, now displayed in the Louvre, that he was admitted to the academy. Veen reached the pinnacle of his career when he became the director of the School of France in Rome. However, he made the controversial decision of refusing to mentor Jacques-Louis David, as he believed David was too old to be guided as a young artist. After five successful years in Rome, Veen returned to France, but unfortunately, the French Revolution wreaked havoc on his life and career. The turbulent times of the revolution left Veen's reputation tarnished, and he faced numerous challenges. Despite these hardships, Veen persevered and continued to create art. His resilience and determination were evident in his later years. In fact, at the age of 80 in 1796, Veen even won a government competition. His talent caught the attention of Napoleon Bonaparte, who appointed him as a senator. Veen passed away in Paris and was laid to rest in the crypt of the Pantheon. Joseph Marie Veen's impact extended far beyond his own lifetime. As an artist and teacher, he played a pivotal role in shaping the talents of numerous individuals. His influence was felt by the likes of François-André Vincent, Jean-Antoine Theodore Girist, Jean-Baptiste Regnault, Joseph Benoit Suvi, Jean-Pierre saint ours François-Guillaume Menagiat, Jean-Joseph Taylorson, and even his own son, Marie-Joseph, who also became a distinguished painter. Veen's artistic contributions and dedication to teaching left an indelible mark on the art world. He will forever be remembered as a significant figure in the annals of art history. In conclusion, John Atkinson Grimshaw, an English Victorian era artist, was known for his captivating nocturnal scenes of urban landscapes. His passion for realism, influenced by his love for photography, resulted in unique and imaginative paintings. Despite being self-taught, Grimshaw's mastery of color, lighting, and shadow, combined with his ability to evoke strong emotional responses, set him apart from his contemporaries. His technique, utilizing a camera obscura or lenses, showcased his creativity and compensated for his limited drawing skills. Grimshaw's works were praised by art critic Christopher Wood and even impressed James McNeil Whistler, who admitted that Grimshaw's moonlit pictures surpassed his own nocturnes. The artist signed his paintings with various names before adopting Atkinson Grimshaw as his final artistic identity.